But here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, I have a guest with me, Scott Rudler, Chief Strategic Officer at T3 Trading. Scott, the headlines are tremendous to trade around, uh, but you remain uh, bullish on the market right now. The headlines are hard to deal with, and there are so many of them. So when the headlines are just so many, you have to just pay attention to the action. We've been talking for the past three weeks about how technically the market's been acting well, how every pull-in has been shallow, has, there's been participation from a lot of sectors, corporate earnings have been pretty decent, um, there's been some follow-through even in the banks. So all these headlines have been taken in stride, and as long as we keep having shallow pull-ins, like today, the news out of Europe, you know, it hit the markets real quickly, but buyers stepped in down about a percent and a half. So we've been up 13 to 15 percent off the lows, and we're off a percent, percent and a half in front of a huge day tomorrow. That's still showing me commitment to this rally. Uh, you're saying shallow pullbacks. It's also shallow rallies. I mean, the volume has been pretty light over the past few weeks. The liquidity is getting constrained as well. Well, the first week of the rally was the most important. October 4th, when we had the reversal, there was heavy volume. That took out the bear's heart, basically, where we took back the bottom of the range, we rallied four days in a row, and showed some commitment. In the last week or so, there hasn't been rally in the overall market, but individual breakouts have had some rally, you know, has had some volume. And right now, I just think there's a lot less participants in the market. A lot of hedge funds have been put out of business. A lot of buy-only mutual funds don't have as much capital. So we're not in the perfect market dynamic. It's almost like it's a new normal. So you have to take what you can get. But overall, we're about 13 to 15% off the lows, depending on the indice that you look at. And stocks have had major moves. So there is opportunity out there. So you have to con continue to watch it, even though the headlines might be a little disheartening. Now, when you hear that a company like IBM is using its cash to buy back its own stock, how does that change your view of the oh, stock or of the market? Well, IBM's been an unbelievable institutional favorite. You could actually be a stock picker and not just a trader and have held the stock and made a lot of money. Their earnings weren't so bad. They were just at their highest, so it was price or perfection, so it needed a little bit of a retracement. So by them buying back their shares, they're saying they're behind their business model. They think their stock is cheap. They'd rather buy their own stock than another company and go through that whole um, consolidation process. So I think it's positive. We've seen some takeovers over the past few days. So mm -hmm. people are using that currency to buy other companies thinking that it's cheap. And we've seen some good earnings. So you mix it all together, and that's why maybe we're rallying, not just though, because Europe might come to some type of plan which won't be a conclusion. You said this is one of the most unloved rallies that you have seen. <laughs> yes. Well, but certainly uh, the new News flow makes you understand why there's hesitation out there. Talk to me about the range that you think we're going to be trading in. Well, there's always hesitation when you have this type of news flow. That's why it starts with a bull market. They always say they climb a wall of worry. I'm not saying this is going to be some huge bull market, but there's opportunity. There's going to be a churn in here. Right. Right now, the, the first part of the move that was fast and furious took us from that 1100 to 1250. Now, as long as we hold above 1225, which was the, the, the top end of that range, I think we hold that level. We're going to continue, and we could churn all the way to 1300 because there are people that are not involved in the market. There are buying mutual funds sitting on cash that have to chase performance, and then you have these these bears that every three or four days I'm getting an email, you know, can I short yet? Is this the top? What mm -hmm. do you think? Like, all people want to do is short this market based on the headlines. But meanwhile, we've been in a, what, a 12 to 13 year range. So maybe it's all priced in. So they have to really just look at the action and we see a rally in the banks. The banks mm -hmm. aren't really a headwind. Remember a week ago we talked about JP Morgan. They right. sold it that day of earnings. It's higher since. You know, Goldman Sachs, bad report. You know, it went higher from 98 and a half to 105, still right. holding okay. And then you also see retail, which is almost at the year highs. And yet we have a consumer confidence reading that's so weak today at 2009 levels. Why do you still like uh, the XLF, Apple, and Google? Because um, Apple is where I see the growth, and I know that they missed a quarter. I think next year, next quarter is going to be really good. That just people waiting for the iPhone 5. I, I was waiting to see how it would react after yeah. yesterday. It was a, a nice day. Okay, it held the 50-day moving average, which was technically strong, or something that I was looking at. Google, good earnings report, held okay. its earnings gap, held above 577. Looks as if it's going to make new highs in the year. We got to leave it there because we're about to hit a commercial break. Set. Thank you.